passenger trams are offline. See, I started the recording hoping that she wasn't going to be talking again as soon as I started, and then she gave me like five seconds of lag before she started talking again. But I knew it was too good to be true, that she just wouldn't start again. How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Mass Effect. Last time, we made it to peak 15, and we turned the VI uh, for the main station back online. But Benezia appears to not be here, or she's either up at the uh, engine room slash communications room, and we need to get those back online. We haven't really been told User why alert. yet, but uh, Mira is trying to tell us why, containment procedures. she's Manual just really being required. annoying at this point, to be honest. But uh, No, I'd like to go User in. Alert. Thank you. <laughs> connections are disabled. We're going to start with the main Passenger reactor. I think this is to the main line. reactor anyway, because it doesn't make sense that we would put the communications network back up when the uh, main reactor isn't up. So like, if the, the communications don't have power, what's the point of getting the communications back online, you know? So. Now entering main reactor. That's a much better volume, Mira. Alert. Just, uh... Main oh, reactor shut down in accordance with emergency there she goes again. Procedures. See, like, her, her uh, volume fluctuates here. Like, when we're in the hallways and she's telling us, user alert, blah 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 her volume is like that Main and then when we're in the elevator she's super quiet so I don't know whether procedures. to turn the volume up Manual turn the volume down required. I'm in a little bit of a User alert. fog here landline connections are disabled passenger trams are offline thank you Mira I understand that I will take care of it oh shit um, anyway um, last time I remembered that we actually I thought about something. We didn't really ask Mira where Benezia was, did we? So the next time we get into contact with her, we will do so. But first, we apparently have Gath to deal with. They have rockets. Alrighty, it's a destroyer. That explains why they have rockets. Um, sabotage? Probably wasn't necessary because I could just do that, but you know. I get the feeling there's going to be a hell of a lot more Geth here, including one... User alert. Main reactor well, shut down in a out. Hello. With emergency Hello. containment Alrighty. procedures. Um, Manual restart it's required. Not one of those, so let's do this and that. And maybe. Uh, actually, no, Rex, why don't you overkill? Liara, can you singularity him? Does he have low physics threshold? He does have low physics threshold. Good. Alright, who the hell are you? Oh, shit, it's a juggernaut. <laughs> Who the hell are you? I'm the juggernaut, bitch! User oh god. Alert. That's not Landline good. Um, connections are disabled. Okay, Rex is blocked. Liara, are why don't flying. you just do a, a barrier as like a precautionary measure, real quick? Because I know you're not exactly the most uh, beefy member of my party here. What the hell? Oh, it's a stalker. Alrighty. Um, how about lift? Can we lift that guy? We can lift that guy. Good. Uh, overload's not quite back yet, so let's warp him and uh, maybe throw. Maybe throw will work. Throw seems to just be shooting him higher in the air. It's making it harder for me to shoot him, but it worked. Whatever. Okay, the juggernaut is still up there. That's fine. Hey, I got overload back. Good. Uh, overload and warp. Please, thank you. Probably could just blown up that uh, box right by him. Oh my god. Rex, are you alright? I guess he's okay. Looks like he took that pretty well. To me! Liara, you don't have to hide. We took care of the juggernaut. It's fine. Oh, that's a that's not good. I hope there's nobody upstairs. Whoa. There's a lot of them. I see a lot of them over there. Um, let's sabotage and your warp isn't back. Singularity again. How about that? Um, why is neural shock on? Whatever. Get him! User alert. That ex Main probably explains why the arrow was in accordance here, you with know. emergency containment uh, procedures. Warp Manual restart there. required. Just walk right in and do something like this. Spray and pray that they all die. User alert. Basically, landline connections are disabled. Live. Passenger trams are offline. It's all right, Liara. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Don't worry. Whoa. Yo, too close. Bad touch. Get out of here. <laughs> Asshole. Well, there's that. Um. All clear. Hmm. I wonder if this is the main reactor. I also wonder if I should go upstairs and check out what's up there before I go and, you know, 
fix the fuel. Okay, the fuel lines. Let's open it up if we can. Okay, that takes care of that. Fuel lines fixed. Good. Does that mean we're gonna get attacked by more Geth? We should probably go upstairs User before. Alert. Landline connections we, uh... are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Yes, yes, Mira. I'll get to it. I will get to it. Don't even. Worry. Let me just take care of all this stuff up here first, and then we'll uh. Go from there. You're probably supposed to go up here in order to fight the uh, Juggernaut and the Stalker that were up here, but they jumped around too much, so I just ended up uh, killing them normally. Uh, Mira, do you have a terminal up here? I'd like to ask you some questions if I can. I don't know if you have a terminal up here. We got uh, Firestorm 7. That's not bad. I think it was 7. It might have been 8. Kind of. Like I said, I'm in a little bit of a fog for no apparent reason here. Oh, I guess I destroyed that uh, thingy. There was a containment cell up here, but I guess my overload blew it up. Good. Probably the reason why the Juggernaut went down so easily, because I blew up his little uh, fuel container thingy. This isn't a Mira terminal, is it? No. User not. alert! Landline connections All right, are disabled. Well, we'll have to Passenger find a Mira terminal then, because offline. it's not here. Unless it's down there, but I don't think it's down there. We'll just go to the one that's back in the main reactor and we'll ask her a couple of questions. Probably better that I spread that stuff out anyway. So that you don't have to listen to me, you know. Like, basically, if I hadn't spread it out... To, oh, there's a Mira terminal. Alright, let's let's have a look then. Mira! Online. How may I assist you? Okay, so we already talked about the landlines. Let's talk about other topics. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Well, I will uh, give you a more specific query. Okay, so we have final logs, hostile creatures, shut down, damage report. So maybe damage report. Did we do a damage report already? I think we did. So I don't think we need that. Um, hostile creatures led to her shutdown, and then she probably had final logs. So hostile creatures. The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. Well, thank you, Mira. You just gave me an inadvertent answer, but uh, I still would like more information. Why were you taken offline? In the event Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes, my program and data are purged. I mean, they don't exactly kill her. She's a VI, so that's kind of a weird thing to say. What did you log before you shut down? Tell me what occurred immediately before you shut down. Stage 1 alert issued at Hot Labs. Contaminants released from Laboratory Pod Gamma. Emergency protocols implemented. Stage 2 alert issued at Hot Labs. Isolation 2 breached. Tram shut down. Landline to Hot Labs disconnected. Stage 3 alert issued locally. Contaminants in tram tunnels. Station shutdown and evacuation initiated. Code Omega sent. And these contaminants in the tunnels are probably the creatures we were looking at before. What sort of contaminants escaped? I'm sorry, Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got related it. to our research require privileged access. I got it. Only That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Well, the contaminants are definitely those creatures. She gave me an inadvertent answer. Although her final logs kind of basically said, hey, contaminants were released from the labs. <laughs> So User you alert. probably you landline know, connections worry about are disabled. That. Passenger trams are offline. Yes, thank you, Mira. But yeah, she basically said in her final logs, hey, there were contaminants in the labs, the hot labs, released, and then that whole thing happened. It's likely that Benezia went to the hot labs after uh, you know, maybe even before the stage one alert happened. And then she was probably cut off from the rest of the station. So she's probably not here. She's probably uh, across the tramway at whatever station is over there. I think they said Rift Station. Holy shit. Hold on. Uh, Neural Shock Warp. D-O-T. That's what this is. As opposed to D-M-T, who is apparently one of the best Pokemon battlers on Showdown. I can't vouch for it because I don't watch the guy. But... Whatever. User alert. Landline connection. The only contact that's going to happen here Passenger is me making contact with Mira's central computer. Although I can't really do that because then, uh, then she can't uh, help us with these passenger trams, you know. All right, let's get in. 
I'm trying to stop before I uh, go into the elevators because apparently there's a huge glitch that you can get here uh, if you aren't careful. Like if you're still moving when you go into the elevators, you can get a glitch where the elevator just doesn't work. And the only way for you to uh, fix it is to reload a save file. So if you see that I'm saving a lot here, uh, it's probably because I'm trying to avoid the glitch and I want to make sure that I have enough backup saves to really avoid that. I think I said User enough alert. backup Landline saves. What I actually disabled. meant, I'm going to talk Passenger over Mira here. Uh, what I actually meant was a backup save close enough to my current progress to where I don't have to worry about backing up too much. There's a lot of Rachni there. Yeah, one of them. Rachni soldier, also a soldier. Um, overkill, neural shock. There's a soldier right there there. Um, I don't want to do this, because there's probably workers. They're going to, like, come out of the freaking woodwork here. That's no good. Um, that one's dead. Yeah, here's the workers. Alright. Let's see if I can get a good shot at them. Why don't you singularity right here-ish? Ow. Alright, well, that kind of worked. <laughs> it didn't exactly work how I wanted it to, but it worked. Somewhat. Yeah, no, no charging. Absolutely no charging. Okay, there's a landline over there. Eh. Um, well, they're almost dead. Let's just uh, lift them, Liara. Didn't work on that one. Uh, I'll lift them. Gotcha! Good job, everybody. Uh, All targets right? eliminated. All right. Everybody's all right, User alert. except that Landline guy. He's connections dead. <laughs> are disabled. Passenger trams are offline. Sucks to be that guy. Um, okay, here's a landline. Let's open it up. Landlines repaired. All righty. How do we get Omni Gel for repairing the landlines? You would think it would subtract from our total. But the Peak 15 repairs are done. So hopefully that means Mira is not going to be uh, talking in my ear in a volume twice the volume of most voices in the game now. to seven. That sounds pretty good. I don't know whose idea it was to have the uh, the comm stuff, the comm traffic stuff, like when Joker's talking on the Normandy and all that stuff. I don't know whose idea it was at Bioware to have that being the uh, loudest voice, like louder than the rest of the voices in the game, but they might have screwed up just a little bit. Connections restored. Processing new data. User alert. Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. You can't connect to the hot labs. Maybe she'll have that in other... Loose contaminants might have something to do with the hot labs. Let's ask about it. What's this about loose contaminants? Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway decontamination chamber. I think that's why we can't get connections? The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. Uh, can I tab out of this conversation? Because I don't really know how Access to... Is not recommended. Yeah, let's, However, let's tab out of this because this doesn't have anything to do with what I'm talking well, about right now. You out. Probably weren't supposed to access a mirror terminal until we got to the thingy. So... Like, the, when we get to the tramway, you'll see that there's a conversation about loose contaminants there, and we'll talk about what they are and why they're there when we get there. But for now, we, uh, we need to get to the tramway in the first place, so that's where we're going to go next. At least she's not yelling in my ear anymore. <laughs> I can restore the volume to normal listening levels in the background so that only a slight amount of echo happens to come up on the mic. I still don't trust this place, though, so everybody stay vigilant. I don't think Mira's gonna affect anything, but there might still be Rachni out here, which could be bad. Oh yeah, definitely Rachni out here. Uh, neural shock throw. Enemy Let's try it. Thanks, Liara. I didn't see him directly in front of me. No, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Perimeter secured. Thanks, Liara. All right, to the passenger trams we go, and then we'll talk to Mira about these loose contaminants. I was trying to talk to her more often so that that way, if she had any extra conversation things to say about new data, um. It would be helpful. Why are there 
little dots on my map. Maybe that's the floor below me. Or above me, depending on where this elevator goes. Now above me. Alright. Probably. Above me. User alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. We will have to have a look at these loose contaminants then. Hmm. I'm guessing that that's the tramway chamber, and they're locked in. Yeah. The door could be finessed. It appears that the trams to the subsidiary stations are beyond it. All right. Well, we'll figure that out in a second. First, let's uh, have a look around. Who would put a high explosive grenade upgrade in the trash, man? Take cover. What do you mean, take cover? I mean, okay, I guess. They're, they're behind the glass, guys. They're not gonna kill us. Control group, loosen the... They're in... Can't escape. The tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the... Struck. Out while you can. He killed himself. Because he was part of whatever happened here. Damn. Among my people, a suicide's body would be left for scavengers. The Nathak will get to him eventually. You think the Nathak can get in this this station? Jesus. They're more resourceful than I thought. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? Okay, let's pretend that loose contaminants conversation before didn't happen. What's this about loose contaminants? Dangerous biological agents are present in the tramway decontamination chamber. I can see that. The tram station has been sealed in the interest of crew safety. Activation of the fail-safe plasma jets is recommended prior to access. Okay, so how do I activate the plasma jets? How do I activate the fail-safe system? Controls for the fail-safe systems are located in the security checkpoint outside decontamination. So right here. User alert. The fail-safe system is currently inoperable. Of course it is. What would it take to get the decon fail-safes operating again? There is a hardware fault in the control system. This can be repaired on-site using a standard Omni tool. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Repair Plasma Purge. All right, well, that's a little bit more specific than it was before, I think. Don't worry, guys. I got it. I got it. Tried to fake me out with that whole circle sequence. Oh my god! Well, I'm glad we weren't in there. Holy shit. <laughs> Mira, I'm guessing they're gone now. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? Let's see if she has anything about this uh, disconnect to the hot labs. Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Here we go. Uh, Rift Station and Hot Labs. Uh, those are all stuff that we've already talked about. Uh, let's talk about the Hot Labs first, I think, because the Hot Labs are probably below Rift Station, but that's where the uh, source of the problem seems to be coming from. Give me a status report on the Hot Labs. I am sorry. The network connections to the labs have been damaged. Data is limited. Hmm... Maybe if we got a little bit more of a general query, maybe it'll help out. Give me an overview of the facility. The hot labs isolate dangerous biological or cybernetic contaminants during development. The complex is built within a glacier. In the event of an accident, it can be irradiated and sunk into the ice. Okay, well, that's pretty smart, actually. So we don't have any idea what the internal status of the hot labs is, right? You have no idea what's going on inside. I'm afraid not. My last log entry is shortly after the stage 2 containment alert was sounded. Right, because then they shut you down. Okay, that makes sense. What about Rift Station itself? What's the status of Rift Station? Rift Station has been locked down by the staff. There are presently no contaminants within the facility. Okay. Doesn't mean that the ones, the contaminants that are in the tunnels and in the ventilation system aren't going to get in there, but I suppose if they're locked down, they should be all right. Why is Rift Station locked down? Emergency procedures require each facility to isolate itself to prevent the spread of contagion. It would also appear that there are several employees <laughs> quarantined for medical treatment. Not laughing at you, uh, Mira. I'm laughing at the Rachni workers that appear to be jumping at the door behind the uh, decontamination chamber. 
Ah, God. They're probably still hostile to me right now, but they can't get to me. Crazy little guys. The staff is alive then? Yes, though the number of personnel is below the official staff count. Mm, that's no good. I guess we better get over there then. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Benezia visited here with a uh, an escort of Asari commandos, according to what we got on uh, in in Port Hanshan. What the hell? They just shot me. Oh, that explains why they were hostile, or not hostile, but uh, that explains why they were uh, so wary when I was heading in that direction, because there was totally a Rachni that was about to come out of the vents and kill me. As long as the plasma jets don't activate right here, I think we'll be good. What do we got? Oh my god. Um, Rex, why don't you do things? I will toss them through the air. Yeah. That was not what I meant to do. Open the door. There we go. That takes care of that. I think we're done here. I think so too, Liara. I'm glad you see it uh, the way that I see it. So this must be the glacier that they were talking about. We seem to be heading further inside of it, which makes sense considering, you know, most of the glaciers probably sunk deep underground so that way they can just sink it. You know, apparently they just sink it into the ice and then done. All taken care of. The station looks inoperational. Well, it looks operational, but not uh, habited, I guess is the better word that I was looking for. It also looks like it's lagging my console just a little bit because... This is probably taking a lot to load up because they're probably also loading Rift Station in the background there, but whatever. Let's take the tram to Disneyland. Departing Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. Thanks, Mira. Glad you're not yelling in my ear anymore. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. So yeah, they must have been loading it off uh, this part of the station off screen too, because uh, otherwise it wouldn't have loaded up this quickly. All right, weapons out. We don't know how many of the staff. I mean, she said that it's below the official staff count. Which, by the way, she came in with a an escort of Asari commandos, right? So that means that. If the count is below the official staff count, and she was adding to it by herself being there and her escort of Asari Commandos being there, it's likely that a good amount of the staff is dead, which isn't good, because now we can't question them and ask them what the hell they were doing here. Emergency exit only. Hmm. That door's suspicious. I don't like it. I'm sure it's nothing. Let's see, we've got hot labs, okay. And this might be up to the actual, yeah, that, those are beds on there. So this is probably the actual scientist's station. So before we go to the hot labs, maybe we should get an assessment of the damage report up there. Make sure the scientists are okay. And then head through. Uh, guys, let me activate the elevator. There we go. I didn't want to have to move too much to activate the elevator because... Again, don't want to get the, the elevator bug. <laughs> I haven't saved in a little while, so it probably would be a little bit bad. Okay. Um, hi there. We're not whatever those things are. You in charge here, sir? Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. No, it's fine, but can they really run a train? Can those things work at train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. No, I guess it's a good point. You're human, and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. Uh, actually, well, um, should I say I'm a Spectre? I'm, I'm trying to think if I'm a Spectre or if Alliance Navy would prob would be uh, more pertinent to a human, you know? What do you mean, completionist? Uh, I guess I have done most of this stuff. I'm, I'm a Spectre, it's fine. My name's Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. Yeah, I, I heard about that. What the hell are these things? We've never seen anything like them. What do you know? 
I'm no xenobiologist. They're fast, vicious, and there's a hell of a lot of them. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. So that's more than likely Matriarch Benezia. All right, well, we'll see what we can do about these hot labs. I'd like to ask around first. I'm not gonna let any of your people die. All I can do is hold out here and protect the civilians. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. I could use a little bit of Metagel, actually, so thanks for letting me know. Um, so he doesn't know anything about the aliens. This facility, the hot labs, Benezia, your staff. Um, he said Anasari, so I'm guessing he doesn't know who Benezia necessarily is. Let's start with something more simple. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? What do they do here is probably the thing that he can't talk about. Are you guys prepared for these things? Because they've been getting in through the tunnels and the ventilation systems on us, so I mean... Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. Well, I mean, you had to have gotten through this, so... I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Yeah. Only the best get assigned to high security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. We're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. Hmm, good, good. It sounds like you guys have got this place relatively locked down then. At the very least, uh, somebody from the facility, if you guys hold the line out here, can run back there and lock down the whole place so that they can, you know, at least the civilians will, they'll be trapped, sure, but they'll survive, and then you can have people from the outside come pick you up. Of course, if you're locked down and the communications are cut, that just makes things a whole lot harder, you know. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. They made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. You guys did look sleep deprived there. I kind of didn't want to say anything, but uh, whatever. Let's see if he knows anything about Venezia. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. Okay. The bugs came from the lab. Um, yeah, let's ask what the facility's like. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. Something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Well, this is an emergency, so I mean... Uh, listen. I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Of course. I mean, I'll, I should be able to handle it. We've handled those things well enough so far. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from the outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. So they came from inside, is what you're telling me. <laughs> um, I think we've gotten enough information about all of this stuff, so let's just uh, let him you know, rest a little bit. He's probably been, he's probably pretty wired from the stems and stuff, so it's probably good to have a moment of rest. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. What? Oh, Help! Crap. Man the perimeter! They're in the tunnels! Go, go, go! Some action. Where are they? Go, go, go! Ah, there they are. All right, you. Neural shock. Uh, no, not warp. Carnage. Thoreau. Bye! Oh shit, there's another one! Oh my god, he's right on top of me. Too, too close, bad touch, bye. <laughs> Boy, that was a little close, wasn't it? Whew! You guys okay? Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. No problem, and sorry I had to unlock the elevator on you. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Hmm. I wonder why they're throwing themselves up here every few hours. Maybe we'll find something out if we talk to some of the scientists here. Because it seems like they had something to do with the fact that these contaminants were coming out of the labs. As usual, most of the uh, facility or not facilities, most of the companies that are working in the background of this game, like most sci-fi uh, scenarios are relatively corrupt. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but I was trying to say companies in these sorts of things are pretty corrupt usually, so. 